Now, the second part of our cash flow forecast is looking at the outflow of cash that happens in the everyday running of a business. And those come in the form of cash outflows. And what are cash flow or cash outflows? Of course, we would understand that since the outflows are is the amount of cash, that's money coming in. Cash outflow is cash going in the other direction, meaning any payments that the company has to make in order to cover the everyday business expenses, making sure the business is turning. So having cash is important for that. And those will come in the form of wages, raw materials, buying fuel and stuff like that. So there needs to be some approximation, some sort of forecast as to what these amounts are going to be. Therefore, once we know that, we'll be able to figure out how much cash we need to make sure we have in the business to cover these expenses to keep moving forward. Now, a few key points about cash outflows is that first of all, similar to the inflows, this is also recorded in a periodic manner. So you will see it in the form of monthly, weekly uh, cash flow inflows and outflows. These are also forecasted just like the inflows were, the outflows are also forecasted payments. So then that's a crucial part of cash flows. Remember, the business is not able to predict with 100% accuracy what the expenses are going to be six months later, eight months later, currency exchange, it happens, prices go up. So a lot of things can change in the near future. And because of that, yes, you have thought of one number, but that may change in the coming months. So there needs to be at least some forecast, some idea. You can't fly blindly into the next months thinking that we'll be able to cover our expenses. So there needs to be some estimation going forward as to what these expenses are going to be. And whatever these expenses are that the business has identified, they must be recorded in the month that they are occurring in. So if you're expected to pay your loan three months later, you write it in that month. You don't write it in uh, now because just because you realized it now, you record it in the month that you're expected to pay it, the month in which or the week in which the cash is expected to go out and add to the cash outflows of a business. So let's see some of the occurrences of these cash outflows that happen on a daily or a weekly basis for a business. Let's look at some examples. So a business would have to prepare itself for some cash outflows whenever there are some administrative expenses come up. So things such as you need some cleaning materials, you need some stationery for the office, you need some furniture and things like that. So making sure that the business is workable, it has all the things necessary for everyone to do their own thing, making sure that everything's done right administratively. Of course, whenever things are bought, it has to be paid for in cash and therefore some cash outflows and the planning for that will be recorded when there are administrative expenses. There's also the bills that come up. So you have your rent, your water, gas, everything that you need to keep your operations going or even the head office going. People not to need to use the toilet, toilet needs to have water. So everything needs to be paid for so that they don't have any problems. Therefore, you need to be prepared and have an approximation as to what these numbers are usually for you in a month and record it as a forecast for that month. Then there's of course, there are uh, when we were looking at inflows, you had we had mentioned things such as bank loans, and bank overdrafts, and eventually they have to be paid back. And then they're paid out, of course, in the form of bank loans or any lease payment that you may have to do in term, and if you've taken an asset from a bank or any financial institution, they will also have to be paid. So some cash outflow will also have to be reserved for that in the month those payments are coming up. And finally, of course, we haven't forgotten about the workers and all the financial rewards that have been promised to them, the form of their salaries, bonuses, performance related pay, whatever that is. Of course, interestingly, in the form of in the example of performance related pay, for example, different uh, the cash outflows will differ from one person to another because the performances are expected to be different. So a different mm, calculation will have to be prepared in that sense. Of course, when bonuses are paid out, another cash outflow. So all of that needs to be prepared for in, in terms of making the customer, in making your workers happy. The planning for cash outflows should be done beforehand. So some common examples where businesses will have to make sure that they have recorded, prepared, forecasted, and arranged any cash flow they need 
for that month in the form of cash outflows. Hey there, if you like what you saw right now, head over to altacademy.org for access to content around six subjects with past papers, videos, revision guides, flashcards, and academic support. All of this is gonna make sure that you're completely set for your A-levels. So I'll see you there on the platform.